We hear the term sustainable beauty tossed around a lot, but what does that really mean? Well, here on the rooftops of Brooklyn, one New Yorker is trying to bring beauty ingredients closer to home. Well, thank you so much for having us in your home. Of course, thank you for being here. And we got to see your beautiful rooftop. So, you know, you're the founder, CEO of Brooklyn Rooftop Botanicals. Mm -hmm. What exactly is that? So Brooklyn Rooftop Botanicals is New York's first and only beauty rooftop farm that spans 2,000 square feet between obviously my rooftop here. I also have two other rooftops, one in downtown Brooklyn, and then the third one is actually not too far from here. So basically I grow over 50 different beauty botanicals that you know, so there's tons out there, but I kind of focus on six that I could harvest and then create the extracts out of. You came from a really serious beauty and skincare background. What made you make the shift? Yeah, so I was an executive at Elizabeth Arden Revlon, um, and at the same time, I was just seeing what was happening in terms of, you know, producing all of these products um, and how unsustainable it was in terms of the packaging, in terms of actually the the sourcing of ingredients and not sustainable practices. And it's not just Revlon, it's the entire beauty personal care industry. So I was like, there must be a better way. And at the same time, I started gardening um, and, you know, it kind of came to me one night, I was sleeping and it was like an aha moment. I got this idea that, hey, what if I actually grow potent beauty botanicals uh, and process them into different extracts um, to then create my own skincare products out of. But at the same time, I was like, you know, I really want to show the world that, that this is possible, that other like, people can do this. So I wanted to also create this kind of educational aspect to what, I, to what I'm doing. So it's not just the producing my own extracts and my own products, it's also this education piece um, with Brooklyn Rooftop Botanicals that I I showcase on my Instagram and on my on my website. And your mission with all of this is what? So the mission for all of this is that I want to bring ingredients closer to home. I don't think people really understand where their ingredients are coming from. It's really almost impossible to find local ingredients. They're all being produced elsewhere. We have to shift the thinking and the production closer to home in order to be more sustainable. It's the only way forward. And if that means making it in your actual home, like yeah. that's part of your mission. Liana, I would love to actually make some extracts or products with you. So can you show us your process? Yes, absolutely. I love this chemistry setup. Thank so you. <laughs> what are you gonna show me how to make? So I'm going to be making a helichrysum extract uh, and then using that extract, I'm gonna create a hyaluronic acid serum. So here I have helichrysum and it's known to be a really great anti-aging botanical. Oh, it smells like curry. Yeah. And what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna cover the botanical with some distilled water and you're gonna place it in a double boiler for about three hours. Coffee filter it uh, a couple of times to make sure you're getting all the sediment out. Then you're gonna basically pour in glycerin so it's like a one to one ratio. We are gonna take the extract and mix it in with hyaluronic acid, uh, propandiol, and water to create the serum. All right, it's done. You wanna try it? Yes. Oh, look at that. Cool, huh? My hand feels softer. Like, yeah, it's a great DIY product. For real, thank you so much for showing us how to make more sustainable beauty products. If you want more information, head to Liana's website. And Sarah, I'm gonna bring some of this back for you. <laughs>